All right, now to a Fox Business alert just in from Maxine Waters. Uh, the Congresswoman, who's the chair of the House Financial Services Committee, she has just announced to Reuters that she will hold a hearing on the trading in GameStop and some of these other viral stocks that we've been covering. Here's a quote from um, Congresswoman Waters. We must deal with the hedge funds whose unethical conduct directly led to the recent market volatility. And we must examine the market in general and how it's been manipulated by hedge funds and their financial partners to benefit themselves while others pay the price. The Democratic Congresswoman Maxine Waters joining now a Republican Congressman uh, French Hill from Arkansas, who's also a member of that committee. So, Congressman, it's good to have you on the show again. There's a lot that you guys could focus on here as we've watched this develop over the last uh, few days. Where do you think the primary focus of congressional hearings should be? Well, thanks for having me. This is uh, certainly reminiscent of, of what we saw in the dot-com boom, what we've seen in certain commodity spikes, like in the silver uh, crisis of 1979, when you have a, a run-up in a stock and you have uh, unsophisticated players in it and sophisticated players, and it reaches a critical moment that's raised a lot of questions on Capitol Hill from both Republicans and Democrats, not only on the short-selling part, but also on uh, the option trading in the stock by retail investors, their information, their qualifications, are those firms qualifying their investors and make sure they're eligible for option trading? I'm sure all these will be questions that we'll look at. Okay, so when you look at it from the retail investor's point of view, we hear you know politicians all the same all the time say we're trying to protect um, you know the little guy in this case retail investors. How do you do that? Some argue you have to protect them from the, themselves, which might mean more regulation in the industry. Others say, no, you have to give them more freedom so that the uh, playing field is level. Uh, for example, Robinhood, which is this uh, trading platform which many retail investors use, today it, it stopped these people from being able to buy GameStop and other stocks. It's since said here in the last few minutes it's going to allow limited buying of the stocks tomorrow. It seems to be backtracking. But is that something you'll look at? And if so, what's your view on that? Well, look, I think there are a lot of rules uh, that FINRA has in overseeing broker-dealers like Robinhood. Robinhood is a registered broker-dealer. They have an obligation to make sure that their investors have the information they need to do trading on their platform, particularly when you're doing uh, option trading, which is typically a very sophisticated strategy. It's good that Robinhood's opened up uh, and democratized investing for retail investors, but they still have to understand what they're getting into. And our laws are written to be buyer beware. You need to understand what you're doing when you're making short and long-term investment decisions. That burden is on the indivisible uh, individual. And I happen to think that uh, FINRA's rules on option trading, disclosure, and that kind of thing for investors are sufficient. And in my view, I don't think you should uh, stop the investing, though. I think that is something that we'll look into uh, when we have the hearing. Okay, uh, so the rules are sufficient, but what, uh, that last part, so you'll look into what, what, what specifically would you like to tackle if the, if the rules are sufficient? Well, where, well, where they've, uh, the uh, broker-dealer has said you can't buy or sell a stock uh, to an okay. individual investor. That's something that merits uh, explanation when we have the hearing. Okay, sounds like Robinhood is aware of that, maybe, because they've, uh, they've pulled back and they, they were facing a number of class action lawsuits as well. Uh, it was remarkable today to, politically to see, you know, likes of AOC, Congresswoman from New York, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, actually in agreement with, with Ted Cruz at one moment. So you think there's bipartisan consensus uh, to do something here? And if so, is it on the side of the retail investor rather than on the side of the, of the hedge funds and the big Wall Street investors? Well, I don't think we have uh, dogs dating cats here yet, but I think both sides want to ask their questions and get answers about what happened here. Part of this is we have new platforms. We have Reddit's uh, role in this that's much more uh, significant and much bigger than it was back in the dot-com boom where you just had bulletin boards. You have the fractionalization and smaller dollars by retail investors. You have all that working in conjunction with the securities laws. And as I said, looking at the short selling uh, in the stock to begin with. All this will make for a robust uh, hearing when we have one at the House Financial Services Committee. A lot of people would argue that, you know, short selling still has a role in a, in a market. Does, do you agree with that? Or are you, are you talking about actually looking into no, outlawing I, or, or putting some uh, no. restrictions on short selling no. itself? 
No, I think short selling plays an important role in the markets. That's how it's an important part of price discovery. Just like I think retail investors having the ability to invest small amounts of money and invest actively in the market by not having to buy a, uh, a round lot in equity investing, that's good too. But all these things can be taken to uh, extreme, and I'm, I'm very interested to uh, learn the facts on what happened both in the GameStop sh uh, stock as well as AMC and some of these others. Right, and, and whether maybe there's something we're missing here um, as we kind of watch all of this play out in real time. Congressman, we'll watch it on the on the hearings as well. It's good to see you again. Uh, thanks for coming. Good on. to see you, Colin. Thanks. Congressman French Hill.